wanted to do a video about horns and beards because I get a lot of questions when we have farm tour visitors and um, I just wanted to show you all some things. So these are our boys and boys are called uh, bucks with goats or weathers depending on if they're castrated. A castrated goat is called a weather. Um, and so we have some of both in here. This guy is marking me with his hormones um, rubbing on me. He's a buck. And you can also tell by their smell, they really stink when it's mating season. This guy is also a buck, and so you can see he pees on his face, and he has some yellow going on there. And then we have a buck here, and then two weathers in the green collars. That's how we mark which ones are which for farm visitors to understand. So um, everyone can grow horns. Everyone has the ability to grow horns, both male and female goats and I will show you some females later. Um, this guy had his horns burned off as did the one other one in here without horns. And some goats are born without Ooh. horns and they don't get horns later on. Those are called old goats. Um, but you can also see um, the ones that have theirs burned off. Uh, have He has some blood on his head from fighting. Um, he has this thing called a skur, which is basically a horn that's uh, very, uh, dysfunctional and grows in all crookedy and eventually breaks off like his did and will cause uh, some bleeding and stuff. Um, these guys have their horns. We left them on. We prefer horns. We haven't found them to be mean. We spend a lot of time with all our goats and we train them to be kind. If anyone's not kind, we wouldn't be keeping them. Um, and this is not our goat. This is our big tortoise guy. So also with the beards, um, you can see the bucks have really big, thick beards, and the um, weathers that have been castrated, like I said, have uh, smaller beards. This guy does have a beard, and he's castrated, and this guy over here does not have a beard. And sometimes they'll grow them in, in certain seasons, and they will shed out, and so the girls also have beards, and we'll go over there and see the girls next. All right, so now we're with the girls or the ladies. Um, there's all different ages and breeds in here, um, but we'll go through the different horns. So you can see with the females, also called does, uh, they have thinner horns than the bucks get. So their horns are a little bit skinnier, and um, they still do grow horns though, because there's always a the question of whether girls get horns, and they can grow horns. Now some of the ones in here, uh, also had them burned off before we got them because like I said we don't burn them off so she did and she'll occasionally have those scurs that I showed that uh, break off and then um, some of our ladies in here are pulled like this one here so you can see these tiny bumps on her head right here where horns would be but they're called giraffe poles where they just get little bumps and nothing else grows in so the reason we keep horns on our goats is because the horns are uh, thermoregulating and so they can actually make the goats cooler when the weather's hot and they're full of blood vessels and we are in Texas where it's 110 degrees for almost a whole month at a time and the goats are just miserable when they don't have their horns and so it's really important to keep the horns on and uh, we prefer that. Now the pulled goats, they don't seem to be as hot as the ones that have had their horns burned off. Um, but we are uh, still working on noticing that and noticing who's panting and um, it's always the ones with the horns that are the happiest in the summertime. So she's another one that had her horns uh, burned off and she doesn't have scurs right now. I don't know if she has in the past because she's a new goat for us. Um, if they'll grow in a little bit and then break off too. But as for the beards, um, some of the beards are more obvious than others. She has a beard and it kind of hangs uh, close to her mouth. It doesn't come out very far. It's here, but it kind of goes close up. Um, who else has a beard? Chris. A lot of them grow beards. Yeah, Casey has a beard. Hers hangs down. Felicia back there has a really nice beard. Um, and like I said, they just shed during certain seasons and they won't have beards. And it also seems to be about uh, when they have their hormones in for breeding, they seem to get beards. Uh, that's because the babies don't have beards and the younger ones don't have beards. So that's, that's pretty much a little bit about horns and about beards on goats.